Messed Up is brought to you by Midcoast Federal Credit Union. Hello and welcome to Messed Up, the quiz show that challenges Maine high school students in math, engineering, science, and technology. This is our last semi-final show as we head into our final next week. And we welcome back our team from Wayne Fleet. We have Juliana and Steven. Welcome back to you guys. And from Greeley High School, we have Nate and Ben. Welcome back to you guys as well. This is all whole old hat for you. Uh, but for folks who are just tuning in, we have four rounds that you guys compete through. The Brain Battle, the Engineer This, the Grid of Destiny, and of course, the End Game Question. So let's get started with the brain battle. So this is the brain battle. We start with 10 questions and whoever buzzes in first not only gets the five points for the question, but if you buzz in before I go to multiple choice, you'll get an additional two points. So if you guys are ready, let's get to it. A quasar is a quasi-stellar formation surrounding what other type of astronomical structure Multiple choice, A, galaxy, B, neutron star, C, binary star system, or D, supermassive black oh. hole. Blue team. B. Incorrect. Red team. Is it A? It is not, that is incorrect. It is D, supermassive black <laughs> hole, or just black hole. Who first discovered the redshift of distant galaxies and stars, indicating that every point of space would seem to be moving away from every other point? Let's go to multiple choice. A, Stephen Hawking. B, Albert Einstein. C, Edwin Hubble. Or D, Edmund Halley. Red team. C, Edwin Hubble. That's correct. What acid is produced by the souring of milk? Multiple choice. A, citric acid. B, acetic acid. C, butyric acid. Or D, lactic acid. Blue team. D. That's correct. What acid is injected into your skin by an ant bite? Multiple choice. A, citric acid, B, formic acid, C, tartaric acid, or D, acetic acid. C, tartaric acid. That's incorrect. Blue team. B. That's correct, formic acid. A dynamo is a device used to convert what into electrical energy? Multiple choice. A, heat energy, B, mechanical energy, C, chemical energy, or D, nuclear energy. Blue team. B. That's correct, mechanical energy. For what units is it true that the value of the speed of light is about three times 10 to the fifth? Blue team. Meters per second. Incorrect. Kilometers per second. That's correct. What type of ore is the main source of aluminum? Multiple choice. A, galena. B, calcite. C, bauxite. Or D, calamine. Blue team. C. That's correct, bauxite. Which planet in our solar system has an axial tilt of nearly 90 degrees? Red team. Uranus. That's correct. Spinach leaves are a rich source of what mineral? Multiple choice. A, iron, B, zinc, 
C, sodium, or D, calcium? Blue team. A. Correct. If a couple with AB positive and O negative blood types adopt a child and then have twin sons, and the three children's blood types are A positive, B positive, and O positive, what is the blood type of the adopted child? Blue team. O positive. Correct. And at the end of the brain battle, red team, you are at 19 points. Blue team, you are ahead at 32 points. And when we come back, we'll be heading into our engineer this challenge with 40 points at stake. We'll be back right after this. And welcome back to Messed Up. We're about to head into our engineer this challenge. Again, 40 points at stake. And our red team is at 19 points, blue team at 32. Before we get to Maya and the challenge, why don't we check in with our students once again. This time, Wayne Fleet, why don't you give some uh, shout outs to some teachers, friends, anybody who's uh, helped you kind of along the way. Who, who nominated you guys to come on here? Uh, I think it was... Wendy. Uh, yeah, Wendy and Carol. Yeah, yeah. Our, um, science, our, our physics and chemistry teachers. Yeah. 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 Also, like, give a shout out to our bio teacher, David, and Al, of course. Um, yeah. And my friend, Lee. Excellent. <laughs> well, welcome back again to you guys. And uh, how about you guys? I'd like to shout out to my great math teacher, Mr. Pride. And I'll give one to our, uh, my chemistry teacher from sophomore year, Mr. Pascarella, and uh, Squad 2.1. So were those some of the teachers that got you guys here, or well, no? Or just help us with that. Help us yeah. with it, yeah, cool. All right, well, thanks to uh, both teams again for their shout outs, and why don't we head into the engineer of this challenge for the details. We're going to toss it to Maya. Thank you, Sarah. This week's Engineer This will test your architectural efficiency in what I call Arcology. Using the materials provided, each team must construct a multi-level structure capable of housing the animal residents they've been given. The levels must have sound support, with no two levels coming into contact with one another. The team with the most levels in their structure will win the 40 points. Good luck! So thank you, Maya. Are you guys all set with your Arcology challenge? Yep. All right, your five minutes begin now. Do you want to do the straws and I'll start with that? Yes. Okay. And one minute left. Thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. So 
That's the end of our five minutes. Let's start with the blue team. So we've got one, two, three, a lot of sleeping animals. Four, we have six layers. So we've got six layers on the blue team. Two, three, four, five. Five layers on the red team. Close. So the 40 <laughs> points goes to the blue team. We're at 72 points for the blue team. Red team, you are at 19. And we still have the grid of destiny to go. So a lot of points at stake coming up next. We will be back right after this. Welcome back to Messed Up. Our teams are now at 72 points for Wayne Fleet, the blue team, and red team from Greeley are at 19 points. But as you guys know, because you've been here a couple of times already, we are heading into the grid of destiny. There are a lot of points up for grabs. So the grid of destiny is set up into four columns, math, engineering, science, and technology, four questions in each, and with increasing difficulty and increasing point value. So the leading team gets to choose first, and if you guys are all set, the blue team, go for it. Uh, math for 15. If an insect crawls 15 feet per minute, how far will it have traveled in 24 minutes and 40 seconds? Red team. 370 feet. That's correct. Red team, your choice. Let's do math for 10. Evaluate X plus x times x to the x, when x equals 3. Red team. 30. Incorrect. Blue team. 84. That's correct. Blue team, we're back to you. Um, math 20. If 10 to the 2y equals 25, find 10 to the negative y. Blue team. Negative 25 over 2? Uh, incorrect. Red team. Is it 1 over 5? It is. Red team, your choice. Math for 25. Triangular numbers are similar to square numbers. Well, for a square, the formula would be n times n. What would the equiv equivalent formula be for obtaining a triangular number? Blue team. N times N over 2? Incorrect. N to the 1 half. Incorrect. So the correct answer would have been N times N minus 1 over 2. <laughs> so blue team, we're back to you. Your choice. Um, science 15. Carbon dioxide is only the second most common greenhouse gas in our atmosphere. What is the most common greenhouse gas in Earth's atmosphere? Red team. Oxygen. Incorrect. Blue team. Uh, carbon monoxide. Incorrect. The correct answer is water vapor. <laughs> so red team, back to you. Engineering for 10. The filament on an electric light bulb is made of what? Multiple choice, A, graphite, B, tungsten, C, iron, or D, carbon. Blue team. B. That's correct, tungsten. Your choice. Um, engineering 15. In what variety of coal does the deposit contain recognizable traces of the original plant material? Multiple choice, A, vitamin, B, peat, C, anthracite, or D, lignite? Blue team. B. That's correct. Okay, okay blue team, your choice. Okay. Technology 10. What unit of memory storage is equal to approximately one billion bytes? Red team. Terabyte. Incorrect. Blue team. Gigabyte. That's correct. Blue team. Technology 15. The first iOmega external zip disk 
intended for high capacity storage back in 1994 held how much computer memory? Multiple choice. One megabyte, B, 100 megabytes, C, one gigabyte, D, 100 gigabytes. A, Red team, megabyte. incorrect. Blue team. B. That's correct, 100. And blue team, your choice. Science 10. What is the term for the branch of medical science which studies the way that diseases interact with communities of people? Multiple choice. A, pathology, B, oncology, C, epidemiology, or D, embryology. Red team. A, pathology. Incorrect. Blue team. C. That's correct. Blue team, your choice. Uh, science 20. Okay. The last summer solstice on Uranus occurred in the year 1986. Well, Uranus's previous summer solstice occurred in 1902. What season is it now on Uranus? Red team. Winter. Incorrect. Blue team. Spring. Incorrect. The correct answer is autumn. Red team, your choice. Engineering for 20. What inert gas is substituted for nitrogen in the air breathed by deep sea divers? Multiple choice. A, hydrogen. B, helium. C, argon. Or D, krypton. Blue team. B. That's correct. Blue team, we're back to you. Technology 25. Name a computer programming language which existed prior to 1970. Red team. Binary. That is incorrect. <laughs> Blue team. Um, Python. That is incorrect. Some of the most commonly known ones are Logo, Fortran, Basic, and COBOL. So red team, I think we're back to you. Engineering 25. What chemical compound is both the main component of seashells and eggshells and also is a byproduct of hard water? Red team. Calcium carbonate. That's correct. <laughs> Science for 45. This is the video question. Hi, I'm Dr. Wesley Gaw. I'm a particle physicist at the University of Kentucky. Right now I'm at SLAC, which is a particle physics laboratory in California and it's where we first uncovered the quark structure of the proton. My question for you today is this. Every proton is made out of three quarks. What are they? Multiple choice. A, up, down, strange. B, up, down, beauty. C, up, up, down. Or D, top, top, bottom. Blue team. A. Incorrect. Red team. C. That's correct. And red team, your choice. I'm going to guess that you're going with technology, technology for, 20. for 20. What consumer electronic device released in 1978 was the first electronic duplication of the human vocal tract on a single silicone chip? Multiple choice. A. HAL 9000, B, Teddy Ruxpin, C, Stratavox, or D, Speak and Spell. Red team. D, Speak and Spell. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end of the Grid of Destiny, the red team, you guys are up to 120 points. Blue team, 166 points. And as we head into commercial, I will take a wager from both teams as we head into our end game question. The subject of that question is math. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to Messed Up, where our blue team is ahead at 166 points and red team not too far behind, 120 points. I have wagers from both teams and we are heading into our end game question. Again, the subject is math. You guys will have three minutes to complete. 
Write an arithmetic operation, which includes all nine non-zero digits in order, with only operators allowed between them, but not necessarily between each of them, such that the result of the arithmetic operation equals 100. Thirty seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to start with the red team. One times two times three times four times five plus six, minus seven, minus eight, plus nine. And that is incorrect. And red team, you wagered everything. You <laughs> went all in, so you are down to zero. Right so let's go over to the blue team. Uh, one minus two plus three plus four times five times six plus seven plus eight plus nine. Incorrect, and you wagered 30 points, so that brings you down to 136. So you guys are headed on to the finals. Great job from both teams, all, uh, all three episodes. So you guys want to know the answers? Yeah. yeah. 12 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 oh. plus 67 oh, plus that. 8 <laughs> plus 9. So again, good job to both teams. It was great to have you guys back here in the semifinals. And congratulations to you guys. We will see you back here next week for the final. We'll see you back here next week, 7 o'clock. And you can catch up on previous episodes on MessedUp.TV. And you can also catch up with Maya and what she's up to on our Facebook page. Thanks so much. We'll see you next week. Good job, guys. Stop is brought to you by Midcoast Federal Credit Union.